Hello guys, welcome back to Always Mabel Canada's YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to replace this My Infinity Touch carrier to this EcoBee Sport thermostat. I used to have the Nest thermostat when I have the old furnace and when I upgraded to Nest, I see a lot of uh, improvement on my electricity bills. That Nest thermostat really works and I save a lot of money. It says there are 26% a year that you can save money on electricity bill and so this Ecobee as well. But unfortunately when I have that Nest, when I was using that to my old furnace, so I upgraded years ago, like maybe uh, more than five years ago to the new furnace and then uh, the Nest thermostat is not working on my Infinity furnace. This is the My Infinity Touch due to proprietary reason. So I cannot use it anymore. So I uh, sold it. So now this one is not uh, functioning well. This is not the original um, uh, thermostat control that I had. There's a older My Infinity Touch carrier and it's not working to the Wi-Fi already anymore. So my uh, installer, he contacted the provider of the uh, furnace and then they replaced it for free because this is expensive. It's like more than $300, this uh, new one. And then later on, this keeps disconnecting to the Wi-Fi connection and also it's not working to Alexa anymore. So I am going to Use this Ecobee Smart Thermostat. Let's see if it is going to work. Let's open this box here and let's see what's inside. Anyway, it says here Energy Star Wi Fi certified, and it's also you can integrate this to Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit works with Google Assistant and works with smart things so uh, you can link it to all of most of them so uh, let's open this box here it's a nice uh, cover so made for the planet Ecobee. So this is the smart thermostat. The screen is bigger but this one's still bigger. The instruction manual. This is where you are going to connect the smart thermostat. And then the PEK is included or power extender kit. If you have no C connection, the screw, let's say if this is bigger, so if you are going to remove it and then you're just going to use this one here, then the paint of the mark on the older paint will will be seen. So you have to use this bigger plate here before you can before you put this one. So let's start disconnecting it and install this one but first we are going to turn off the furnace and the AC so that it's going to be safe when installing the new thermostat so right now we are going to remove this there so I am going to Use the power extender kit to use the wiring to make it work here. I have to remove this. Use this wire. Connect this here to the power extender kit. And insert these wires. That's uh, It has this uh, guide here. Y, W, G, C, and R. So this is what I'm going to do put it here there's a guide here which one is Y which one is W and so on and then later on I'm going to remove this wire 
and insert it here. So after uh, installing these wires here, the five wires, so we are going to connect, insert the four wires here to the power extender kit. So here, I'm going to remove this. Here, R, I'm just gonna put this red to R. Insert it here. There. And then the, let's say, because we have, uh, it has different kind of color on the wires. Depends on your uh, connection on your furnace AC. So I'm just gonna put the G, the blue for G. Make sure that it's really connected. Once it's not going up like this, that means that it's connected already. Try to pull it a little there. And then I'm just gonna put the Y for yellow. And then the W for black. Remember guys, these four wires goes upstairs to connect to, connect to the thermostat. And then this one here is magnetic, depends on where you want to put it, but this one is insulated, so I have to, it's either you put, it's either you put this here or on the top here. So I prefer to connect it here to the top there. I, it's magnetic, so it's there. But first, if you are kind of forgetful like me, then... Let's take a picture here so that we are not going to forget which one is which. Now we are going to remove this plate. Okay, so right now I'm going to put this plate but I have to make some hole again. I'm going to use the old hole here first and then use this as my uh, leveler because there's a leveler here if you are going to see that one here there that's the leveler Okay guys, so now I already put the uh, marking, the sticker. So this R goes to R terminal. So we place this here, insert it. And then once you inserted it, make sure that you pull it a little to make sure that it's really holding. And then this uh, G terminal, this G, We'll go to C terminal, push here, and then insert it. And then the Y will go to PEK or the power extender kit. We'll go to PEK, the Y wire. There, pull a little bit if it is really holding. And then the, the W will go to W1. Now it's holding, it's all there. Okay guys, now we are going to turn on the furnace AC. So now let's mount this and we'll wait there. Okay, okay, it says, hi there. We will guide you through. The setup process so I'm a homeowner so are you a homeowner or a pro so I'm a homeowner and then did you use the PEK yes I use the power extender kit you have detected wiring in the following terminals note that the Yellow highlighted terminals are multi-purpose terminals. Is this wiring correct? CR1 PEK, yes. Do you prefer Fahrenheit or Celsius? I prefer Celsius. 
what kind of heating do you have in your home furnace next how do you want your fan to be controlled by thermostat so name your ecobee you can choose a name from a list or enter your own okay connect to wi-fi to access your ecobee remotely view the weather forecast and maximize energy saving you can use an ios device such as self an iPhone, iPad, or iPod to simplify Wi-Fi set, set up. If you do not have an iOS device, select the Wi-Fi network options. So select Wi-Fi network options. Now let's see. I'm now connecting it to the Wi-Fi. Success and then... Okay, right now it's off, in the off. We are going to test the heat first. Let's see. The heater will uh, function. It says equipment running, heating, and then fan now. Then it's gonna blow the air to the duct. So guys, now the heater is really working. I tested it for one hour, so it's good. So now we are going to check the AC if it is going to work. So heating equipment is running, but we are going to go for AC. We'll turn it on. Now it's on, and then we are going to to uh, set it to 18. There. Let's wait if the AC will work. There. If you are going to hear the fan, it's blowing very strong because it's hot in here. And then I turn on the AC to make sure that it's working and it's really working. Yeah, it says there cooling fan. So right now, the current temperature is 22. And uh, it will reach the set temperature until 11.30 p.m. But I don't think that it's going to be until 11.30. Maybe it will take mm, a little bit. Maybe it will take a couple of hours and then it's going to be cold in here. So anyway, guys, uh, aside from this, there's a overcast here. The, the four-day forecast of the weather. And then... It's that's the setting of auto cool or heat or if you want to turn it off and then the system is cool and it's comfort setting and then the equipment is running the AC and the fan so guys the installation and the setup is already completed I already set it up to my uh, phone apps I also linked it to so anyway you can control your your temperature remotely via your phone apps it's now cooling right now and uh, let me give you some example on uh, setting this temperature if you don't wanna if you are in bed already and uh, you don't wanna go up and come over here and touch this adjust this or if you don't want to get your phone if the phone is not beside you or, and if you but if you have this in your bedroom so you can you can uh, set the temperature via that one so let me give you some example set temperature to 20 the AC is set to 20 now it's set to 20. So I'm happy with this Ecobee Smart Ther Thermostat. Anyway, if uh, there's a sensor here, they called it radar. So if this uh, Ecobee Smart Thermostat detected that somebody is moving in 180 degree zone, then it will turn on or if nobody is in the house, then it will turn off or let's say if it is truck, it's in the idling position it's same thing 
so it can save more money you can save more uh, money in the electricity bill because of that feature so there's a lot more feature like you if you want to add the sensor if you want your room to be cooler or in the living room or in the basement or wherever you want to put that sensor you can add it to this to this and then it will be colder in that place where you place your sensor and a lot more you can add cameras or door sensor or the window sensor it's really smart and aside from that this thing works from because I'm used I was using the my infinity carrier my infinity touch it doesn't work to my uh, nest but it works with this because of that power extender kit and it really works because I installed it, the power extender kit to downstairs to my furnace to that uh, circuit board and uh, just make sure guys that when you are going to use the power extender kit make sure that you put the label that was included there in the box of this uh, Ecobee smart thermostat so this is good uh, you can uh, you can uh, use this because of that power extender kit make sure that you put the label in every wire so that you are not going to make any mistake I hope this will help you decide if you are going to upgrade to Ecobee or if you still want to use your old uh, thermostat I prefer the smart thermostat and it's really good if you can hear my fan is really blowing hard because it's cooling now because I tested the heater a while ago and then I switched to make sure that the heater is working and now I switch to uh, cooling and now it's cooling the house thank you guys for watching please subscribe on this channel hit the like button and hit the notification bell and also share this if you want to share it so that everybody will help how to install the Ecobee and the power extender kit Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.